after gathering the information what a retailer do normally they select the merchandising source which is the second step in this process so what a retailer choose normally he has the company owned suppliers means the manufacturers outside outside regularly used suppliers and outside normally new suppliers and what is actually you will observe in this whole uh, process in this whole selecting merchandising source what you will do that the relationship between the suppliers and between the retailers normally you will find some friction in it also because the retailer has some different objectives and the suppliers uh, have some different objectives so where both the objectives will met normally it will turn out to be a very positive thing and will both the benefits both the parties will get will be into a win win situation that is actually the key once you are able to get this win win situation uh, you will have of course the best prices you have you have they will have the best margin for yourself and you will have the best prices for your customer so the customer will be benefiting and you will be benefiting as a retailer also and of course manufacturer will be getting the fair share he will be benefiting also at the end of the day so let me share it with you an outside source of supply so what can be the uh, if you go into more detail of it let me give you quick example so first of all if it is what are the sources and what are the characteristics of these sources so first of all we have manufacturer which is we call normally company owned so these are actually what are the characteristics of manufacturer in this case they are actually physically producing or manufacturing goods may provide shipping and credit so such kind of suppliers which are actually manufacturers or they have they are company owned what they do they manufacture they give you logist delivery facility uh, means they can deliver the products at your doorstep at your retail store and most of the cases also they will, they are going to give you the credit facility also because the best business model is that you buy product on credit so this is what is manufacturer is all about then second source of supply is full service merchant wholesalers so there are three kinds of uh, full service merchant wholesalers one is the general merchandise uh, the second one is the specialty merchandise and the third one is the rag jobbers so we have three full service merchant wholesalers and what are their characteristics normally so they buy goods from manufacturer performs many services for retailers so normally these kind of full service merchant wholesalers they directly in uh, in contact with the manufacturer and then what they do they perform many services for example they give you transportation they will sort goods for you they will give you credit facilities they will get give you the information which we discussed in the step number 1 so they really really help in identifying uh, these things normally these kind of uh, wholesalers they carry a wide assortment they carry a deep assortment so the width and depth of the assortment of the required products will be very much there and then they bring and set up their own displays usually deals with non food items in supermarkets and other stores may be paid after merchandise is sold so another facility first of all they normally give credit and then you will observe in most of the cases also that they give payment on sale agreement sale base means they give you the product once they are sold then you are going to pay for them so the third type the third source outside source of supply is limited service merchant wholesaler so there are three kinds of normally uh, limited service uh, merchant wholesalers one is the drop shipper one is the mail order and third one is the cash and carry so what is the characteristics of limited service wholesalers same as full service wholesalers normally they offer almost everything but of course the width and depth of the assortment will not be very much there they normally focus on the catalog sales to small retailers especially the cash and carry stores they sell the products through some uh, post which is for example uh, metro has a metro post or uh, let's say uh, walmart has some post so catalog selling is the key and the store is where the small retailers buy and sell normally their target is to serve to uh, the small retailers in general fourth type of source is agents and brokers so uh, they do not take title to goods normally they are not responsible for the ownership of the goods means they don't uh, ownership remains with the manufacturer they work as an agent they work as a mediator they work as a bridge between a retailer and the 
manufacturer so normally all kind of auction companies uh, sales persons brokers sales agents they are normally part of this supplier source so they also help uh, retailers you will observe for example area uh, retailers if uh, the small area retailers normally they buy from either brokers either middlemen or agents so they are the fourth uh, part fourth source of supply for a particular retailer so now uh, we have we have discussed the second point which is which was the outside uh, sources of supply or identifying the sources of supply sources of merchandise for a retailer be after getting the information so we have these core four major principles meet the these four major sources and the retailer sources of supply generally overall depends of all these four types of sources